We have an opportunity to evolve not just the way, not just the industry, but the way that the greats that already exist approach their music because they will be able to be inspired by us as well, just as much as we are inspired by them. So, yeah. Don't you know who that you're about? So question two is, do you think there is more room for women artists to take up in your industry? Let's start with, hmm, let's start with Tessa. Okay, absolutely. Yes, there is so much room for improvement. There is so much room and so many opportunities for women to come into the filmmaking space because it's very much been a male dominated industry until this point, especially in what I do, which is the camera work, because I think that the equipment is heavy. It is, it's a lot. And I think that that's associated with guys and whatever, but it's this, the, the fact is it's simply not true that women can't do the job just as well because we can. And <clears throat> I really feel like um, as more and more female uh, filmmakers emerge or as more and more women filmmakers emerge we're seeing a different way of storytelling um, one that has a lot more empathy a lot a lot more softness and gentleness coming into it and also a lot more complexity and nuances within the within the narrative and like uh, characters that are just so rich in like what they have to what they have to say in their backgrounds and their stories and we're also just finding we're just seeing so like such a diverse range of of characters emerging because i really do think that women see the world differently like not not better or worse just differently um we have a different perspective in many ways there is absolutely um opportunity for more women to come into this space and it can only make the it can only make the industry stronger. I feel like with more women leaders, um, you you see things like gender equality um, more. Well, <laughs> of course, but um, education for women being like a priority and like um, just kind of issues that that just make the world a better place as a whole. Yay! Thanks, Jess. Um, Michaela, what do you have to say to that? I say that there is absolutely more room for female artists to take up space in our industry. And um, it's exactly what Tessa said, you know, it's still largely a male dominated field. And yes, there are so many film composers out there for sure. But I mean, if you'd like me to be brutally honest with you, if you ask me to name Female, com female film composers I know, whose music I've listened to, whose, you know, score would probably be considered really big films, I'd only be able to name them on my one hand. And that's the reality. And if I gave you access to my Apple Music library, you'd see hundreds upon hundreds of scores I love and I'm constantly inspired by, but they're all written by men. And that's that's our reality at the moment. And don't get me wrong, those scores are the reason I'm here and they're the reason I do what I do, the reason I fell in love with film music in the first place. But I just have to mention that to give you context of the reality and that the reality is that we need more women composers. And I was actually just um, a couple of weeks ago, I read an article that the New York Times posted about film composers, or female film composers, and they interviewed, I think about five of them for this article, and it was posted probably, I think it was sometime last year. Um, one of the people that interviewed was uh, Rachel Portman, who was the first woman to win an Academy Award for Best Score. I think it was for Emma, Emma in 1996. And it was interesting to read the several reasons that they felt there was this long-standing inequality in the field of film scoring in terms of being a female composer and they offered several reasons which included institutionalized sexism, a lack of precedence and female role models 
to inspire girls to go into the field. Um, and then the worst of all, the social conditioning of women. And as I read that, I was thinking, wow, are we still in that world where we have to break down those, you know, absurd barriers? Um, but we are starting to have more role models. I certainly was absolutely thrilled and so inspired. And I had stars in my eyes and tears falling down my face when Hildur Gnado Tears stepped onto that Oscar stage and grabbed the Academy Award for Joker. That was, I think, one of the most extraordinary moments to, to witness. Um, and so, yeah, women are increasingly entering the field, but it's still largely occupied by men. So, yeah, that's that's my my answer. <laughs> I love that you mentioned Hilda because I I also fan go over her. Um, I think we both fan go over her together. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, Emma, what do you have to say to that? Yes. I do think there could be more women in this industry, <laughs> but um, I think if I'm specifically, you know, looking from my own perspective, one thing that I have noticed is how people receive the work. I think when it comes to a woman that does something, it's almost like this fantasy element. There's an a fantasy element to, let's say, being a performer or being a creative where they almost think you're weird or you, there's something wrong with you or like oh there must be some this chick must be crazy or this kind of thing when at the end of the day it's like well maybe we are 80 percent corporate and 20 percent creative but people don't don't see that because there's not enough of us if it's become more of a norm it would be a thing of we don't have to consistently reinvent ourselves um you know, not not that we necessarily need to, but it's, you know, that, that kind of element of going, okay, you let's say look at someone like Taylor Swift or Madonna or that kind of thing, how they keep their shelf life going. And this is not just purely as a performing artist, you know, but how they, through their music videos and things, or Cardi B, or, the, you know, there's constantly a whole new element going where, you know, like you, you get a Bob Dylan, he just is what he is and he's brilliant in what he does and there can be films made about him but it's about capturing you know the essence of him and i think ultimately you know when it comes to us as women um i think you know also based on what tessa actually said regarding that kind of empathy you know that empathic element that's another thing that's very important it is you know um in a sense of often you'll let's say be busy with something and you might feel like you're not being heard but there's something about a lady's ear that makes you feel like you have have a place you know like you're really being heard in a way that you know is, is difficult to try and and communicate to a man and it's not at all about going oh men versus women it's just a thing about a certain ear you know a certain way of like also the same thing about kind of you know um when it just comes to what you've been saying, Kayla, when it comes to like, uh, you make film music and you have these idols that are men. And then you go and you're inspired by that and you have your own element of, you know, beauty and uniqueness and that kind of thing. But then that stigma is created of all the best are men. It's kind of weird when here comes a lady and now you have a super idol going, oh, we love her, we love her, we love her. And it's like, yes, we do. But it's a thing of like, but the next person can come and we can love her and love her and love her. And the next one can come and we can love her and love her and love her. And in that way, I think, I feel if there are more, there would be less of like that super fantasy weird factor. And it would, it would almost become more of an industry than a fantasy for the moment. And that's what I, that's my true thing. <laughs> that is so true. Well done. <laughs> no, I love that answer. Um, my answer to that question is just that, okay, well, obviously, yes. <laughs> yes, we do have so much more room for more women creatives to be in our industry, film, whether film or music or the two combined. And my specific point that I want to make is that 
and this is the reason why femarts exists is because we want we wanted to normalize the presence of women artists so just latching on to what emma was saying about this fantasy idea of this woman being on set and it's like oh wow this woman is composing this entire score to this entire movie whoa mm -hmm. hilda that is awesome you know those those milestones are necessary and i think we need to appreciate them for happening because without them we would never evolve and that that word evolve is my keyword for this answer because i think the way that we are inspired by the men who set the bar and form most of the greats we have an opportunity to evolve that evolve that with the empathy evolve that with our qualities that we possess that men just so happen to not possess because by evolving it we will be able to open men up to those areas that they just so happen to possess but they don't know they possess and that is the areas of empathy and i think we are all we all possess some kind of um you know biological structures which impact our psychology and all of that stuff but i think it's important for creatives to share each other's strengths to help other creatives realize that they can delve a bit more into those strengths that others possess that haven't been so explicitly explored so i think that the reason why we should take up more space as zottavini said so famously is because we have an opportunity to evolve not just the way not just the industry but the way that the greats that already exist approach their music because they will be able to be inspired by us as well just as much as we are inspired by them so yeah that's my two cents <laughs> so my last question guys we're on the last question already um well done thus far but yeah i really loved all of your guys' answers question three is what is your moral compass when it comes to creating <laughs> 